What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're continuing showcasing Regulation H teams, and today we have the poster child of Pokemon. We got ourselves a Charizard team. Now, when it comes to Charizard, this Pokemon has been okay in Scarlet and Violet, and I feel like in this format, in Regulation H, this will be the best that we see Charizard in this game. Now, Charizard, super dope Pokemon, super strong Pokemon on the special attacking side, is a fire and flying type, and this one has the fire terror to boost its damage even more. It's got solar power to boost damage in the sun, charcoal to boost fire damage even more, and then we got protect, heat wave, overheat, and scorching sands. I absolutely love this moveset and cannot wait to use this Pokemon. But another Pokemon that we have on today's team that's a big time fan favorite is Garchomp. We love Garchomp. Rough skin, life orb with the ground terror type, protect, stomping tantrum, dragon claw, and EQ. We can actually pair up Garchomp with Charizard and be able to use EQ freely because, you know, Charizard's a flying type. It will not hit that Pokemon and we can get off some big time damage from there. Other four Pokemon on today's team features Mousehold, Frigraph, Torkoal, and Murkrow. Mousehold is going to be more of a physical attacker rather than a support Pokemon considering it is rocking Population Bomb. Big time stab move damage, obviously you guys seen that back in like generation, or not even generation, like the first format of Scarlet and Violet, and it was just crazy strong. But this Mousehold can also work as a support Pokemon with Follow Me, it also has U-Turn for Pivoting and Protect. Um, Frigraph and Murkrow are going to be other support Pokemon. Frigraph is going to be great for setting Trick Room or canceling out Trick Room. Murkrow is going to be great for like weather control and speed control. Our final Pokemon going to be Torkoal. Torkoal is going to pair up with Charizard perfectly, setting weather, going crazy from there. Cannot go wrong with that. If you guys, want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Charizard in Regulation H. It is Charizard time. Match number one coming at you guys. We are going up against a Trick Room team with Electros and Conkledor, two very strong Pokemon in Trick Room. They also have Ursaluna, they got Indeedee, they got Torkoal, and last but not least, they have Hatterene. So not gonna lie, we could honestly just lead like our Torkoal alongside with Charizard. I feel like that could be pretty good for us because if they just wanna go into like Trick Room with like Indeedee Hatterene, we could just bombard them with like Eruption and Heat Wave. And yeah, I feel like that's our best bet. So I'm gonna go into both of them. Um, we could go maybe Garchomp for late game. That's probably in our best interest, alongside with Mousehold. I do like that because if we need to waste out turns for Trick Room, we can always just go into Follow Me. Or if we just wanna attack with Mousehold, we can just go for Pop Bomb. So I feel like either or is going to work really well for us. So I'm cool with that. I am definitely cool with Mousehold and Garchomp as our final two Pokemon with Charizard and Torkoal right off the rip. So yeah, hopefully they go into like Indeedee and Hatterene and they're looking to just go for like follow me trick room and we just go like heat wave eruption, just blow up this match, right? <laughs> it's just going to be awesome, hopefully. But what else could they do here? I mean, Charizard is going to be fastest on the field, which is really good to know. Um, we got to remember Electros does have Levitate as its ability, so we can't hit it with Scorching Sands. I got to actually said that because I probably would have done this would done that this game. So good thing now it's in the back of my mind that this thing does have levitate and actually has no weaknesses because it's pure electric type with levitate has no weaknesses. Pretty cool Pokemon. It's kind of dope that they did that. But they're going to end up leading Ursaluna and Hatterene here. Um, What is my player? What is my player? Because you're probably focus sashed. You're probably focus ash. You have fire terror type. I could just helping hand and look to just nuke the field here with a heat wave helping hand, terra boost it, charcoal boost it, solar power boost the heat wave. I'm all for it. If Torkoal dies, Torkoal dies. I'm all about this. I am so for this. I'm so for this. So we get helping hand boost, we get stab boost, we get terra boost, we get charcoal boost, we get solar power boost. That's five boosts right there. And sun boost, six boost. Six boosts coming out here. I feel like this heat wave should do a ridiculous amount of damage. As long as you guys aren't sashed, I mean, this damage should be ungodly, right? It should be ungodly. I don't mean could be sashed, could kind of ruin my whole plan, but if it is sashed, I mean, Torkoal should be slower than anybody on the field. He's just gonna withdraw Ursaluna, so yo, this could be. This could be big. What are you going into? Indeedy here. What's the point of Indeedy? What's up with Indeedy here? What is up with the whole Indeedy thing here? You just want to keep your Ursaluna? Pretty smart call. But yeah, we're going right into Fire Terror Charizard. Charizard is back. It's back in Scarlet and Violet. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And yo, the shiny's so dope. That like charcoal gray black is just, it looks so perfect on him. 
So they're gonna end up terrestrializing as well. Don't you dare tell me this is Water Hatterene. Don't you dare tell me this is Water Hatterene. I hate this game. <laughs> Water Hatterene. Super perfect. I mean, again, you get off trick and my Torkoal can still thrive out here. Help my hand gonna come out. Heat Wave's still gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage. And the question is, how much damage does this do to this Hatterene? A lot. A lot. Charizard is so bad. He's so bad. Oh my lord, not even Water Terror could help the Hatterene. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. What a hot start for us. Do I just do that again? If that's able to kill Hatterene, I feel like we can kill anything we want. We are so doing that again. The only thing that can stop us is RNG right here. It's the only thing that can stop us. I feel like they're gonna cancel the match. Helping hand. Heat wave. Send it. Send it. Are they cancel a match? Do you have a one turn battle? If not, it's gonna be a two turn battle. Again, the only thing that can stop us is RNG. Charizard, helping hand boost. Heat wave. Connects! It should be a double KO. Should be a double KO. Get him on out of here. That is so broken. Charizard is back. That last match was insane. Charizard was overpowered there, dominating with two heat waves. That might have been my quickest win in regulation H. Two, two turns, two helping hands, two heat waves. That's all we need to pick up a sweep. But we're hopping into our second match. Going up against Skizzy. Scizor over here with Titar. Um, superior. That should be contrary to superior, so we gotta watch out for that. Incineroar, Arcanine, and last but not least, Grimstrong. So they have two intimidate users so physical attackers gotta beware i feel like charizard is still a pretty solid lead for us and i could also go in with murkrow just to get some speed control here and i feel like i definitely like that so i'm gonna go murkrow i am gonna go charizard if they do lead a uh, t-tar i could just protect turn one and then maybe pop like a sunny day but they probably are gonna pop t-tar which is like the scariest thing for me do i just go like garchomp murkrow but again, Intimidate scaring me. That's the only problem. Intimidate really scaring me. Um, I could haze and just get rid of the stat changes. That's not a bad idea. You know what? Yeah, we're going to go into both of them. We're going to bring Charizard and... Do we bring Pop Bomb Mousehold? Or would I rather bring, like, the Brute Spray Giraffe? Not bad. I just feel like Torkoal's going to be a little bit better here. I'm going to go Torkoal. I feel like the more weather control we have, the better. I just think T-Tar is just such a big time problem for the team right here. I'm gonna have to try to find work or ways to work around it. If they do go into an Intimidate user, obviously we can just haze it off of us. Um, but I can EQ freely next to next to Murkrow, which is pretty good. Let's see what they end up doing. They gotta go an Intimidate user. Is Cinnamore coming out here? T-Tar Arcanine. Okay. Wish I had clear amulet. So do I haze turn one or do I set up a Tailwind? I think I just set up a Tailwind and I go for an EQ. Because EQ is super effective with both. It could still do a nice chunk of damage. Let's do it. Do we have Ground Terra? I think we Ground Terra here. Even if we're minus one, dude, the damage is just still so big with EQ, Ground Terra. I can eventually haste it off too if I want to next turn, but that that that's if Murkrow survives. And I feel like Murkrow should be able to survive a uh, a rock slide. Unless they double down, because I feel like you have to be going for rock slide here. There's a protecting Arcanine, that's fine, no big deal. And Tailwind's gonna fly. So I wonder how much damage this can do to Titar. Please tell me Titar's not weak this policy. Please tell me Titar's not weak this policy. Let's see. Let's see how much damage we're doing to there. Enough? Probably not, right? Yeah, no, he's bulky, especially in the sandstorm. I lose a little bit of HP due to the life orb, but he's gonna go for break and swipe, which is not a big deal. He, he thinks he's just lowering my attack here. All that good stuff, but I'm just gonna haste it next turn now that we got off this tailwind. And he takes some rough skin damage, which is awesome. So he probably has flying terror. I do have to watch out for that. Um, could Arcanine swap into any, like, Pokemon that can soak this? Incineroar, no. Um, I actually hope you swap to Incineroar because we're hazing here. But you know what? We're, we're, I'm all for this. So I'm going to haze up. I'm going to pop another EQ. I'm going to pop another EQ. Obviously, I could take out Weather Control right now if I want to, but 
Once I get off T-Tar, off the field, Garchomp's really just gonna thrive with the weather, right? Garchomp's a dog with the weather. We're going to Haze, we're not minus two anymore, and we should pick up a double KO here. No problem. No problemo. So yeah, good call for us to go into the Garchomp, because again, T-Tar was just a massive threat for us. I feel like going into these two was just, was just a great call. So there's a nice little double KO. I'm going to lose some life orb damage. We do get a crit on T-Tar, but it didn't matter. We all know that didn't matter. Another hot start for us. Match number two going smooth. We're smooth sailing right now. Got the sails in the wind. Everything's going good. We still have Charizard and Torkoal on the back end. Um, I could change up weather. Again, I feel like my Garchomp really thrives off this weather now. And they don't really have any Pokemon to do that. We're going to see him bring out Superior. We have Speed with Tailwind right now. Um, and Scizor. I don't think you can KO me with a Bullet Punch. Um, what would I like to do here? Sunny Day really not going to do much. Actually, I mean, Sunny Day could actually help us out. I really need a sun. I can just swap in the Torkoal. I'm going to go for a foul play. Just like to chip up some damage on the Scizor. And I'm just going to rip an EQ. You give me no reason not to rip an EQ. Hopefully Superior protects anyway. But I feel like it's got to go for like a Leaf Storm here and just uh, do some damage. He goes for the Bullet Punch into the Murkrow. Murkrow's able to soak. And Earthquake's going to fly. So chances are we pick up some nice damage on the Scizor. A little bit of damage on the Superior. And then drops like a Leaf Storm. The KO me. I mean, that's okay. I mean, bringing out Torkoal or Charizard is actually going to just probably win us the match here. And Foul Play might KO. It does. Awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, Torkoal could have probably just like 2v1 them. Considering typing-wise, he's just so strong up against them. And yeah, he's going to throw a Leaf Storm, and we got this match in the bag. It's in the bag. We're just going to bring out Charizard here. Be a big-time threat. They still do have Terra, which I could make a read for Fire Terra here. But I just feel like typing-wise, you just, you just don't have it in you. You just don't have any superior. Yeah, we're just gonna go into Charizard. I could swap into Torkoal, but there's there's really no point. The weather doesn't doesn't do anything here. It doesn't do anything. We might as well use our speed to our advantage. Right, we still have one more turn. Yeah. So from here, we're just gonna drop a foul play. I think you have Fire Terror. I really do. I'm gonna go into Scorching Sands. I'm gonna pull this off. Yeah, you still have Terra. I'm gonna go into Scorching Sands here. Yep, there it is. There's Fire Terror. There's show me Fire Terror. Come on, man. Let me make the let me make the big time read here. Show me Fire Terror. Give it to me. Give it to me. Water. Okay. I mean, Scorching Sands still gonna do a bit more damage than Heat Wave would have done, but still, I really want to predict the Fire Terror. Really want to predict that Scorching Sands gonna fly, and it does decent damage. Foul Play might be able to pick up the KO. Getting scared here. Let's see. It does all day long. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 0. We are just sweeping teams out here. We didn't sweep in this match, but you get what I'm saying. Final match coming at you guys, and we versed all regulation H teams today. This one seems like it's actually really strong with Palafin and Iron Bundle. Actually, this is not a regulation H team. I lied. There's Parallax Pokemon. But still, definitely a team that we can beat. Definitely a strong team as well. They got Golden Go, Iron Valiant, Iron Bundle, Palafin, Triple Edge, who I definitely want to showcase on this channel. Or regulation H, considering it's one of my favorite Scarlet and Violet Pokemon, it just looks so dope. Like Swords as hands, it's Mega Man with Swords with hands. It's just so dope. But the last Pokemon is going to be Annihilate. And one thing I noticed is their weather control is not there. It's non-existent. So I can just go into maybe like Charizard Torkoal again. I could go Charizard Murkrow to the sun that way. They might just leave Palafin, which is a little scary. But I just think going into these two is going to be our play. We're not going to bring Torkoal because I feel like we could just set Sun with Murkrow and be fine with Sunny Day. And we could save that slot. And then I go into Pop Bomb Mousehold and Garchomp. Yeah, I'm all about it. I'm in it. I'm all about it. I do love Pop Bomb Mousehold. I do love that Pokemon. Maybe we should have let it. Maybe we should have let it. It could just do so much damage, especially with the Wide Lens. It's, I think it hits or it's guaranteed to hit 10 times. There's not a lot of Pokemon that's surviving like a normal Terra Pop Bomb with Wide Lens. It's just really hard to we're gonna see iron b with palafin come out here no big deal do i set the sun turn one i could see a freeze dry do i set the sun or do i set up the tail one 
I feel like the Tailwind's a tad bit more important. I'm gonna set up the Tailwind. I'm just gonna protect Charizard. You might want to go for like a flip turn into me. So, I'd rather protect. So we protect Charizard, but get off the Tailwind. Sunny Day could have been nice, though. Let's see what Palafin's going for. Oh, you're going for Freeze Dry. I kind of thought that. I think Mercury can soak that. It does. Please don't attack. Yes, you go for Flip Turn. So, I'm able to get off the Tailwind. I'm able to get off the Sunny Day. We predict him going into Flip Turn. And from here, yeah, let's just go Sunny Day here. And do I go Terra Heat Wave? Yeah, I'm cool with that. I can do some nice damage to the Dolphin. Probably could pick up the KO onto the Iron Bundle. I'm with it. So we'll get out the Sun for pretty much the whole match. We will have speed. Honestly, Iron Bundle has a shot at outspeeding Charizard here. It does, especially with that booster energy. And I'm being upset because it probably is faster. But I do get off the sunny day, so if he wants to go for like a hydro pump, that can still do nice damage into me, but I should be able to soak it. Oh, I'm out speeding. Gorgeous. Fire Terror Heat is coming at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bye bye, RMB. And monstrous damage on the Palafin. And he's going to flip turn out here and do about negative five. For a super effective shot. You shell belled? Shell belled? This thing shell belled, so we got to watch out this thing getting some HP back. Cause that's kind of cool, right? Like, if you see, like, a Shell Bell Palafin hit you with a wave crash, the amount of HP it's gonna get back is ridiculous. Especially, like, in the rain. He's gonna constantly heal itself up. They end up going into Iron Valiant. Um, and they're gonna go into their... They could go back into Palafin. They can indeed go back into Palafin, but I doubt they do. Let's see. Now they're going to Surudge with Flash Fire. That is something I do have to watch out for. Um... I guess we'll just attack, we'll go into Foul Play, and do I Scorch and Sands, or do I just like overheat and try to dump on this? Because I really don't want to give this thing a Flash Fire boost. Honestly, I'm just going to go Scorch and Sands, just like to KO this thing. Solar Power, Scorch and Sands, almost KO. Murkrow, you should outspeed and pick up the KO. I love you, Murkrow. Murkrow's so good in this game, we love Murkrow. He's so good in this game. Murkrow picks up a KO, and Spirit Break in a fight. You are going to get a special attack drop. Kind of sucks. But the real question is, can Palafin KO me with a Jet Punch? It kind of looks like it can. Hmm. Yeah, so you know what? We're just going to go Foul Play here. And I am going to go for the Heat Wave if I can pull it off. Because chances are you're going to KO me with Jet Punch. If you don't, my Heat Wave is just going to double KO. If you do KO with Jet Punch, then Foul Play can fly a KO the Palafin. And turn us into like a 2v, 3v1 kind of situation. But we'll see a Terra pop out from him. Um, you could have Wide Guard. That's something I didn't think of at all. But you might not read it after I went for Scorching Sands. But yeah, there's a Water Terror. I don't mind it. He's definitely going to Jet Punch me. Yeah, there it is. And you're going to take out my Charizard. Yeah, I don't mind that. I'd like, like, again, I have Foul Play rocking in that slot. So you're just going to die out this Foul Play. Actually, you get a little bit of Shell Bell back. But your attack's so high, I think Foul Play just says GG's to this Palafin, right? A little bit of shell bell action. Got back up. He <laughs> got back like one HP. Foul play picking up KO, no problem. And again, this turns into a nice little two v one with uh, Garchomp and Pop Bomb Mousehold. Ooh, Pop Bomb Mousehold is gonna be fun. We'd like a good old Pop Bomb Mousehold. There goes Spear Break. The KO Murkrow. And another thing that's probably gonna happen is he's gonna target down my Garchomp with Spear Break. And I'm just gonna simply protect it. I'm simply just gonna protect it. Obviously, I could just go follow me and play it safe, but we want to drop a pop bomb. Population bomb's just sick. It's just such a cool move. A little bit of mouse hold action. <laughs> so there's Chomp. We're just gonna throw a protect, make an easy read. It's a simple read, and we're just gonna pop bomb for the win. Please don't cancel. I really wanna. I really wanna drop a pop bomb here. I really wanna drop a pop bomb. So there's protect on guard Chomp. Show me sphere breaking that slot. We're out speed regardless, and Pop Bomb should KO. Look at this go. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with one left over. GG's to our opponent here. Pop Bomb picking up the final KO. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Charizard dominating on this Regulation H team. I think Charizard is so back once Regulation rank drops with no legendaries. 
no restricted Pokemon. You can see Charizard a good bit. Speed's going to be on the higher side of the format. Its special attack is already on the higher side of the format. And it's just going to be a great Pokemon all around, especially in the sun, considering it does a ridiculous amount of damage. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.